What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Bridget was here. Bridget was here. <laughs> Gee whiz, you get more annoying by the day. So, it is Throwback Thursday, which means tonight I'm gonna tell you guys a story. But I'm gonna tell the story with Dad. Eat up, guys. Eat up, cry. Eat your dinner. So, I am gonna tell the story with Dad tonight because he always tries to say, you lied about me, my story. So, gonna go over to Dad's house. Uh, gonna do the Throwback Thursday story. A little Throwback Thursday story. Gonna do the Throwback Thursday story about the time Dad would drop us off at cemeteries on Halloween night. So, we're gonna tell that story. Got some plans for the prank, which is why I didn't upload a vlog yesterday because I had a lot of prank preparation. I had a lot of preparation today. It is going on midnight. Folks, I'm going to Dad's house at 1 o'clock in the morning. He's probably asleep. So, it's going to 1 o'clock in the fucking morning, going over to Dad's house, starting off the vlog this late, because I got prank preparation, which, like I said, is the reason I didn't upload a vlog yesterday. So, midnight, starting the day, which means I'm going to be editing this all night. Here we go. Let's start our day, Bridget, at midnight. <laughs> it's way past my bedtime. Just saying that. Going over to Dad's. You knew that, right? Oh, I'm so tired. Let's get ready to go to Dad's. Coffee? Let's get ready to go to Dad's. No coffee. Coffee at Snapple, please. Nope. Please. All right. All right. So I'm on my way to Dad's house right now with Bridget. The main reason is I'm going to bother him, but the main reason is, one, he's not answering his fucking phone anymore. He's just flat not answering me. And two, I gotta get the weapons out of the house because when I do this prank, he's gonna go for some weapons. You know it, he's gonna wanna protect himself and now he's not gonna have any weapons to turn to. So, preparing for this prank, here we go, baby. Going to dad's house and next time, dad, I'm gonna tell you to answer my calls. This prank is gonna be epic. It is, baby, I'm so excited. Hey. What? What the hell, man? As you see, I'm living in my room now. Okay, you don't answer your phone? No, I'm, I'm living in my room now. Yes, why? Because that damn Ebola virus. Okay. That's just dangerous, man. It's killing people. <coughs> and I don't want to catch the shit. What are the symptoms? <sighs> Coughing, sneezing, hacking, looking like the dead. <coughs> That's weird. I know it is. Well, I don't know how true it is, but I heard about a report in Columbia. What? The Ebola virus. See? It's getting closer to Charleston. That's what I'm talking about, dude. So, as you see, I'm living in my room. Yeah, I see that. I mean, you got a case of fucking drinks. You got You're crackers. Right. You're right. I got everything I need in this room. Breathing treatment, baseball bat. I got everything. And the baseball bat, yeah. Anybody can meet out there, they got a bomb. Bust them in the head. What are you going to do if you run out? I don't know. I guess I'll let you bring it to me. Yeah, but uh, that, if I get it... <coughs> hey! Don't start that coughing shit! I'll goddamn put my baseball bat on you. I've been coughing all day, dude. Dude, please don't do that. <coughs> Excuse me. You do got your weapons in here still, right? Oh yeah, they're in there. Let's, let's get a look at them. I'm taking Dad's weapons from him. I slept in two days. Because of the prank. He's gonna wanna kill people and I gotta get the fucking weapons out of the house. Oh my god. Get out of my closet! I'm just making sure you got weapons. I'm covered. Alright. You got two baseball bats. I know it. One for each hand. <laughs> what? One for each hand. That's yeah. crazy. So anyway. Uh I've had, here too. I've had a fever all day. Michael! What? If you're sick, leave now. Dad, I'm not sick. It's not airborne. Oh, hey, you don't know that. <laughs> hey! God damn you, sneeze on me! What? Go away. Get out of my room. <laughs> Michael! I'm joking. Come on, come out of your room. What is no, this? No, I'm not coming out of my room. I wanted to tell a Throwback Thursday story with you today. I I'm sitting right here if you want to talk. Well, what kind of Throwback th st Thursday story we got? I got a headache bad, Michael. How bad? I don't know, but I'm getting Probably because you ain't left the room. It's so hot in here. How come you can't just go into your freaking... Because if I, turn the, if I turn the air conditioning on, the filter system blows shit in here that might have that damn Ebola in it. Uh, oh, have you seen the video? 
What a video? A video of the guy eating the guy live on the bus. No! Yep. Oh, shit. That was in... I don't know where Lexington County is. Yeah, I think I ain't slept two days. Where is Lexington County? That's up there in Columbia. Are you serious? Yeah. That's where it happened at. Oh, fuck. It is getting closer. Okay. What are we going to do? Can you give me some plastic tomorrow so I can put it on my windows? You want plastic? I'll get you some plastic. Now I can tape it all over. One's that way. I don't have to worry about it. So, sitting here with... <laughs> sitting here with Dad. He is... He's boarded himself up in his bedroom because he's afraid of the Ebola virus. I am scared of it. Today, the bird flu. You're talking about the bird flu again. Oh yeah, I heard somebody dying from the bird flu. I know, and I, I don't want to be around no damn birds. Well, that was in Somerville. God and it happened it. to a chicken. Thanks a lot, Michael. It was a chicken at a Chinese restaurant in Somerville. Thank you, Michael. What did I do? I think I need to just stick it out here with you, and we need to be thick as thieves. You know, I gotta go to the bathroom. Goodbye. Get out while I'm gone. Alright. Bye, Lex. Bye, Pop. Your doors are open still. I'm gonna steal his fucking weapon. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna take all these weapons to Bridget's car. <sighs> here, help me. Okay. He's gonna come back, take okay. these. I gotta get the. Here. Take these, I gotta get the bats. So, I wanted to tell you a story, and the story I wanted to tell you, I wanted to tell with Dad. Because he always says, you make up stories about me. <laughs> you look like you turned into a zombie now. I feel it. So... I bite your ass. <laughs> it was a bunch of years ago. I think I was in the fourth grade. It was Halloween, and Dad had this thing where he would take us trick-or-treating, take us to Pizza Hut, and we'd have a good family moment, and we'd go home. That was our routine every Halloween. Every Halloween, I remember that. Every I Halloween. farted the damn thing, and everybody, ah! Yeah, it was the same Halloween, actually. Yeah, you farted in the front seat, and we all smelled it in the back of the truck. Yeah, I know. We're talking about an open truck. The back was open, he farted, and we smelled it like we were there in the cab with him. And I was driving. However, the story I want to tell is, do you remember that? Of course you remember. That Halloween, Dad decided to be funny. So Dad tells us he's taking us trick-or-treating, and we're done for the night. We go to Pizza Hut, we're ready to go home, and he goes, Oh, goddamn, I got one more place I want to take your ass. So we're sitting there, we're happy. Why my face? Yay! Dad drives up to a cemetery, and we couldn't tell at the time. We're just looking in our bags. All right, jump out. And we're jumping out, we're looking around, thinking we're like some sort of... I drove off, too. That's what I'm saying. Dad drops us off at the freaking cemetery and speeds off. And there were bags of candy out there. Oh, ours? Yeah, well, they had candy. It was our candy. Dad left us. Here we are, 10 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Dad's dropping us off at a cemetery on Halloween and didn't come back for about 15 minutes. So for that 15 minutes, we were freaked out. It was just four kids, me, my brother, my sister, and my other sister, and we're sitting in this graveyard. I don't care who makes you stronger. And I'm pretty sure that you weren't far away making noises. Because I remember hearing noises in that graveyard, and it's scared. What are you doing? <sighs> Nothing. <coughs> so, we're sitting there in the graveyard. We hear, <laughs> Dad's obviously behind a tree somewhere, scaring us. No, I wasn't. No, you're going to, you can, yeah, I don't care. You were. I wasn't. I was in the van, drinking a beer. Well... Dad dropped us off at the cemetery. So that's the story I wanted to tell. We went trick-or-treating, had a good night, went to Pizza Hut as a family, had a good... Uh, how'd you like that? Uh. Went to Pizza Hut as a family, had a good night. On the way home, Dad dropped us off at a cemetery for 15 minutes where he began scaring us, making noises behind trees and headstones, and he scared the shit out of us, and when he came back, we were so petrified that we didn't sleep for the rest of the night. And it was a school night. And I took all your candy bars. You always did. That's the other thing. Dad would always cherry pick, take all the good shit, and leave us with nothing. I let you do all the candy corn. Yeah, man. What's up with that? I like candy bars. Now I like Slim Jims. Hey, you know I got a birthday coming up, right? Yes. Just remind you. Yes, I'm, I'm told you I'm having people send stuff to you. P.O. boxes below. They can ship you stuff. And I'm going to get you some stuff. We're going to have a big party on video. Okay. So, that was the Throwback Thursday story. Dad abandoned us at a cemetery. We were children. Get out of here. <coughs> Get out. 
Get out. <laughs> okay, why? I'm joking. I'm not really coughing. Get out of my house now. I'm not coughing. For One. A... Okay, I'll go. Two. I'll, I'll count to three. Three. Oh, go, go.